Uh, yes, I am definitely a classical musician, and uh, I am somebody who loves classical music, I would say. Mm -hmm. Because if I were not a classical musician, I mean, at one point of my life I wasn't so sure, mm -hmm. I was sure that I would probably love classical music forever. Mm. It's difficult. Uh, of course, it's not a question of level of talent, because you can do this kind of... Uh, music at any level, uh, with any talent, but uh, I would say that uh, normally, in the best world, uh, somebody who is a classical musician is somebody who can love deeply jazz or flamenco or whatever, but who love even more classical. So I would say that same thing for jazz musician. Right. Uh, you can have many love, but f the supreme love has to be from what you do, I really think. I spend a big part of my time, it's a part of my time, of listening music. Music I don't play, but classical music. So uh, this is one of the important part of, uh, one of my main cultural activity. Oh. Yes, definitely. Okay. Let's say that instead of analyzing, I just try to get so much in that it becomes natural. Mm -hmm. That I don't have to think anymore because this is my own music. For example, I, lately I've seen, I mean five years ago, uh, Brendel stopped his career, mm -hmm. uh, maybe now it's five years or four years ago. So, and this guy is a very intellectual. When you read the books, it's totally intellectual. I mean, he, he can make, uh, he can compose in the style of uh, Haydn, use the Beethoven and do Mozart style or the opposite. I mean, he's a very intellectual, but he, if he were just an intellectual, he would be somebody who write books and don't play. But when he plays, Haydn in particular, but not just Haydn, Schubert, it looks like that this is his music. It looks like the same thing that uh, Yamandu playing uh, Brazilian music. music, you know. So, of course, I don't pretend that I have this kind of connection with composer on guitar, but let's say that for me it's much easier if I just get in this music, so I just listen what, whatever I can listen. I try to, to just don't decide, okay, now I will listen this or I will listen that. I just try to get everything, eventually maybe painting, whatever that can help me to connect. That, that, that's the point. I remember when I was young, I mean, when I was a student, for example, let's say you play Albanese, listen Alicia La Rocha. You play, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we say in French, culture press bouton, culture press button. We call that. I don't know what is the, the, the translation exactly, but I think it's interesting to listen many version. In fact, I think if you listen many version, you can't remember one, but you can get in the music. Because I'm not intellectual, for example, if I play one composer that I don't really know his music, I will listen a lot of things of this composer, but I will try to avoid the piece I play. I will try to, you know, it's like a little bit. Uh, uh, I like a lot of movie, but in the 70s there were a lot of American, uh, like Robert De Niro, uh, for example. When they, let's say, the very famous example, when he play Taxi Driver, he just he, he himself a taxi during one month. So it was, it's a way to do it in not a very intellectual way, but just be part of it, so it becomes very natural. So I guess. Uh, I guess it's better to do that than to have this, uh, okay, Alicia La Rocha, Albanese. Or I play Rossignan, I listen Claudio Abado playing the air of the Rossignan I play, you know, these kind of things, because I think it, it doesn't give so much imagination. You know, most of the time when my student plays something, sometimes when I feel that they have problem to connect themselves with what they have to play, for example, let's say a very simple example. Lately, I have many students who play some uh, the Diabelli Sonata. That, that Marcin is playing now, probably. <laughs> uh, I, okay, the cliche, listen some Haydn. Okay, listen some Haydn. But if the guy is not connected with the piece, it's a little bit when the same thing that when you are in high school, you know? When you are in high school, the teacher will tell you, okay, go and see this painting. But if you are not the connection, you will see the painting, okay? And so what? So uh, it, it's totally the opposite. But on the other hand, you need to do this, but he has to come naturally. So how I do with students, I don't know, it's difficult. I try, because I am a teacher, I try to find for each student the way to connect with the music is different. 
So for me, I know what can help me, but for some other students, it would be mainly analyzed. So let's, let's do like this. For other students, it would be, I don't know, maybe it's not hidden, they will have to listen, but something else. I mean, each person works very differently. So I must say that in France, but I'm quite sure it's the same before, 20 years ago, the people who were guitarists like me, they didn't have exactly the same background than the other instrument players. Somehow it was normal that we were not part of the same business because we were amateurs. I mean, I would say, I, of course, I totally include myself. For example, when I did GFA, so I won, it was a very good prize. I was playing Valses Poeticos and I did the, I did the transcription just by here using the Fukuda because it was the best, I find, and changing the notes just like this, you know. And I was 24 years old, now I have a student of 18 years old, and he's doing himself his own transcription and study. I mean, I, I was much less pro than most of my students who are younger than me, who are less advanced in their career. So the, the thing has changed a lot, but of course, the guitar scene doesn't change necessarily at the same speed than the level of the guitar is. I don't know, I guess it could be better if there were a connection between a high-level player and a good agent. Uh, sometimes you have a good agent and not a high-level player, and sometimes the opposite. So, when the quality is good, I mean, somehow the career that make, made Williams and Brim, and I would say Brim even more than Williams, we should care a lot. and. And it was a, something really very important, I guess, uh, Brim. But sadly, you know, you can't really say there's, there's somebody like Brim now who can touch the, the famous composer, who can play in big hall and do a very high quality things, even if I don't like everything Brim did. But as a, as a musician, he's, he's the guy for me who represents the most the, the classical musician for the guitar, I would say. But that, that's, that's the trick with the guitar, even the, the way of playing the guitar. Okay, for me it's a, it's a very big question. Let's say that now, at least my students, but they are not the only one, all the students they have the tendency to play everything super seriously, which is in fact very good. But on the other hand, there are some pieces which are, which has a different nature. Sometimes they, I think they go a little bit too far in this direction and they can become dry even if the level is 10 times better. I say that all the time. Sometimes I hear people saying, ah, now they are just machines. I think it's not true. I think people are much better. And if I compare how I wanted stuff from me and how I want things for students, I mean, I am 10 times more exigent with my students that I used to be for me when I was the same age and then them. I really would like uh, to find pieces which are not necessarily extremely difficult or difficult but you know sometime when I was younger I was afraid to play easy pieces because when the piece is very difficult you are protected a lot you need to be first a great musician and believe in yourself a lot when you play a piece that you have maybe 500 pe people who can play that without so many technical problems but the thing I want the most also is to keep uh, the higher standard I can in terms of repertory Sometimes I might say that when I see some wonderful musician playing some piece, pieces I think they are weak, I feel disappointed. So uh, lately I, I, uh, I, I brought in master classes, for example, Lorenzo Micheli for me is a very good example of somebody who play different pieces and bring some new pieces in the repertory, but choose all the time the highest quality of, of, of pieces. So yes, I, I want to, to, to do these kind of things, I guess.